Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump sat in Winston Churchill's armchair, didn't expect what happened immediately after. President Trump has made numerous international trips over the last year and a half that he has been in office. However, it was not until just this past month that he visited the United Kingdom for the first time. During his visit, he met with the Queen of England and British Prime Minister, Theresa May. However, everyone was ready to pick apart his visit from the moment he got there. Which is why what people are complaining about regarding his visit should not shock you whatsoever. MSN reported. Donald Trump sparks fury posing arrogantly in an armchair used by heroic wartime leader Winston Churchill. Critics slammed Trump for a string of diplomatic blunders and said he wasn't fit to sit there. The U.S. president belittled our NHS and PM and undermined the special relationship. Labor's Stephen Doughty said, an image of Donald Trump sitting in Churchill's seat will stick in the throats of many Brits who would consider Trump not only to be one of the worst presidents in U.S. history but also not even worthy of a comparison with our wartime leader who rescued our nation in its darkest hour. Labour's Ruth Smith added, Churchill embodied the best of British spirit when we were fighting and defeating racists and fascists during World War II. Given Trump's appalling actions and rhetoric, he doesn't even deserve to look at a statue of Churchill let alone sit in his seat. The visit has been planned to maximize links to Churchill because of the president's admiration for him. Blenheim Palace was chosen to host Mr. Trump and wife Melania because it is Churchill's birthplace. We wanted to do something different for the president, British ambassador to the U.S. Kim Derrick told U.S. reporters ahead of the visit. We know that he is an enthusiast of Winston Churchill. He's a big fan of the film Darkest Hour, so we thought it would be nice to do a dinner for him at Blenheim Palace. Trump moved a bust of the former prime minister back into the Oval Office back after he was inaugurated in 2017. He also hosted a screening of film Darkest Hour which shows Churchill's early days as prime minister leading Britain through World War II at the White House last year. White House press officer Sarah Huckabee Sanders posted the picture of her boss sitting in the armchair at Checkers. While The Hill reported, British tabloid The Daily Mirror used its front page on Saturday to hit President Trump for sitting in former British Prime Minister Winston Churchill's chair. How dare you, the headline on the Mirror's front page reads over an image of Trump striking a pose in the chair. You insult our country, attack our, National Health Service, embarrass our Queen, undermine our special relationship, humiliate our, Prime Minister, and then smugly pose in Winston Churchill's armchair, the front page states. The Mirror also published a report quoting British Labour leaders criticizing the image of Trump sitting in Churchill's armchair, which White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders tweeted out on Thursday. Trump has publicly stated his admiration for Churchill, he had a bust of Churchill reinstalled in the Oval Office on his first day in office and hosted a screening of Darkest Hour, which depicts Churchill's early days in office, at the White House last year. The praise hasn't been fully reciprocated by Churchill's family. The late leader's grandson called Trump a daft twerp last year for connecting the United Kingdom's rise in crime to radical Islamic terror. Trump is currently in the UK he spent one night in London, where he faced widespread protests, before departing for his luxury golf resort in Scotland on Friday night. Given everything that is going on in the world, like the meeting between President Trump and Russian President Vladimir Putin, it is absolutely ridiculous that this is what people in the media are focusing and reporting on. Instead of working and reporting on real issues they're making up controversy in order to make our president look bad. Which is not surprising considering all the protesting that British citizens have been doing in light of the president's visit to the United Kingdom. Clearly, they have zero shame. The picture was nothing more than a happy, ambivalent, and non-partisan media post. The president was likely shown the chair on a tour and he sat to take a picture. There is no comparison beyond that. For anyone to turn it into anything else other than exactly what it was is an embarrassment and shame. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.